guys, welcome back. <laughs> Y'all, I got my little baby here today, so she's gonna be in and out of the video, just kind of doing what she does best. But today we are going to be discussing my breastfeeding journey. I'm actually one year and three months into breastfeeding. We are not currently breastfeeding anymore. It has been a year and what three months yeah three months of breastfeeding and, um, I can honestly say that I've enjoyed it and there were times that it was not so enjoyable but um, for the most part I really enjoyed feeding breastfeeding Nona um, there were also some things that I learned to when I was a part of this breastfeeding group, um, there were a lot of things that I agreed with and things I disagreed with. I feel like you have to do what is best for you and your child with breastfeeding. Um, Anona never really liked bottles when I breastfed her because I exclu exclusively I exclusively breastfed her um, using no bottles because it was easier for me versus I used to get up at like 3 o'clock in the morning you know on that schedule of feeding them every two hours when she was in a newborn I would feed her get up at 3 o'clock I would um, pump Matter of fact, I would feed her first, and then I would lay her down, and then I would pump whatever I had left over that she didn't drink. And I was losing sleep, and so I was like, I, I need to be, I need to try to make things easier. So I got to the point of learning how to dream feed her. Dream feeding is when you, um, you just kind of turn to the side, you lay to the side, and you prop your baby up on the side of you, and um, you just kind of breastfeed them laying sideways and that made it easier for me and I was able to kind of drift back off into um, to sleep and so um, I started dream feeding her and that's how we started exclusively breastfeeding so she wouldn't take bottles she wouldn't take pacifiers she wouldn't take sippy cups I was her main source of liquid and food and so that's all she wanted like every time she see she, you know she saw me i guess she just looked at me like a walk like as if i was a walking bottle or something and so um i couldn't be in her sight without her wanting me and so um yeah so i want to get back to the part of me talking about uh, when i was a part of the breast breastfeeding group i would feed her every time she cried and that was a habit that I I had to break. And so um, I would feed her so much, so much guys. She started waking up in the middle of the night. Like like she was almost on this, she was, I guess she just figured she was still on this routine of eating every two hours. And the doctors were like, even after like y'all seven, it was, she's probably like eight or nine months. And the doctors, her pediatrician said, she's not supposed to be, still eating like that like you know because she was eating table food then and they were like yeah she she's only doing that because you allow her to do it so i cut i cut a lot of breastfeeding i think we were just we went we went to probably feeding her probably five or six times a day and then probably two months ago i chopped it all the way down and i was only feeding her early in the morning when she would wake up around six or seven then I would feed her right before she went to bed and so um yeah so like I said I feel like it's you have to do what's best for you when you're breastfeeding like every every thing that people say work for them may not work for you may not work for your child because you have a different child and so um that's what I think like I learned a lot of bad habits that um, honestly was starting to make me not like breastfeeding but I I've enjoyed it um, 
will I feed the next baby, breastfeed the next baby? I, I definitely will. Um, it'll just be um, some things that I wouldn't do that I did with this, with this breastfeeding journey. Um, but the next thing I want to talk about is, is the, the shedding that comes along with it. Um, your body uses estrogen to make milk. And my child was breastfeeding, so till she was taking all of my estrogen, and my body wasn't producing enough estrogen for um, for me, um, too. So it was producing a lot for me to make milk, and she was taking that, and so um, I was left with no estrogen. And and as a result of that, I had you know estrogen is used to grow hair; it's used to lubricate the vaginal area of a woman and so my hair fell out and then I dealt with a lot of dryness um, down there and so um, y'all I was devastated because I was like not again I dealt with postpartum shedding and that was the most horrible thing I've ever de dealt with y'all should have saw me like I was it was horrible let me just say that it was horrible and um I'm married, so I ain't got no business being dry down nowhere, you know. So I was like, I went to my uh, my OB, and she was like, "Oh yeah, we got it. We got to do something about that." So um, she gave me some stuff to help me out, and then she was like, "Yeah, try to try to cut down." And I was like, "I've I've already cut down on breastfeeding her. Like I'll have to end probably basically end the breastfeeding journey um, if we continue having this issue." And so as time went on, I went. I was taking the things that I needed to take to help help out with my estrogen. I even started y'all drinking soy milk. Soy milk has estrogen. For those of you who um, may be dealing with that and you just don't want to take medicine, um, or you don't want to take you know take anything for it. So I um, I started drinking um, soy milk to help you know um, with my estrogen level, and that that stuff helped, but after breastfeeding like she would wipe me clean out y'all and so um that's another reason why i've actually ended the breastfeeding journey like because i was i was actually planning on letting her breastfeed kind of till whenever she wanted to stop um because we like i said we weren't breastfeeding that long it was probably early in the morning and late at night before she went to bed or yeah before she went to bed when i would feed her and so um yeah, that, that was one of the things that I dealt with with breastfeeding. And the next thing I want to talk about, talk about is um, separation anxiety. I dealt with, sec I still actually deal with it now. Um, I, I want to um, let her go to daycare, but the way things are now, I don't feel comfortable with daycare. Now, if I find somebody that I truly trust, with keeping her I would let them keep her and I would probably start back work um but I um um I don't know how that's gonna work out but we'll get to that well I, I feel like there'll come a there will come a time where I'll be comfortable with her I just want her to be able to talk to me and tell me you know how was her day what happened at school and different things like that so um along with the I wanted to go back to the hair shedding um a lot of the hair shedding came from also um to from having hormone imbalance um your hormones are still off even after a year of have you know after a year after you've had a baby um it's so many things that i've learned like a woman's brain does not even go back to the normal size even after a year because you guys know that when you're pregnant i don't know if you guys know this but when you're pregnant your brain, um, a lot of the oxygen from your brain is taken away just to be able to produce, you know, to develop the baby that you're growing inside of you. And so a woman loses, you know, oxygen from her brain, which causes memory loss. You know, it causes a lot of things, it causes you to forget things and you, you just, you don't, you're not your normal self. And so um, your body has like gone gone through so much stuff like in, in growing a baby feeding the baby and so your body is just kind of like shock in this shock of trying to put things back where they need to go and 
balance itself. And so even with breastfeeding, breastfeeding causes you to have hormone hormonal imbalance. And so um, I feel like honestly and truthfully, that's where postpartum, and I'm not going to say I, that's how I feel, but that's where postpartum depression comes from, especially if you're breastfeeding. Um, it triggers that, um, it triggers depression. And I can tell you guys that because there will be days where I'm like, I'm feeling my best. Like I feel like I can go and conquer the world. And there are times where I just feel so low for no reason. Like, and I don't know why I feel that way, but I just do. And so, um, I went to the doctor and they, they, you know, they prescribe you different medicines and stuff to kind of help you out. But I was like, I don't, I don't want to have to take medicine to, to not, you know, deal with it. And I'm a praying person. I would pray and be, and feel, feel absolutely wonderful. Feel, I'll feel recharged and everything after prayer. But then later on that night or even the next day, I can, I feel like, okay, like, why am I feeling like this? I, I was just good. It, it would be like a roller coaster. And so, um, again, that's another reason why I just decided to stop breastfeeding. Cause I, I, I know for a fact that a lot of the postpartum came from, uh, stemmed from me, um, still breastfeeding. And so I feel like my baby has gotten all the, the nutrients she can get from me. She's one years, she's one year old. She's a one year old. And look whatever we cook for her and she eats that's that's what god god I, I feel like i've done my part like and i'm not bashing anybody if you stopped at six months whatever age or even even if you just decided to formula feed your baby i feel like you really have to do what's best for you and for your baby because your baby needs a healthy mama and um there were times where i would i i had this was my goal y'all I, I had a goal of breastfeeding for one year because I wanted to just for me um just overcome this this thought everybody comes with um with breastfeeding all these different um these different perspectives these different you know um uneducated opinions about breastfeeding and so I I I did that you know to for myself and not even just for myself, for my baby, for the development of her. Um, and I feel that she she's really benefited from that really well. And um, I felt like I, I got that bond from her. Um, as a mother and daughter, I got that bond. I was able to share that bond, experience that bond with her. And um, I feel like we'll be really, really close um, as, she, as she gets older. Um, but yeah, so... That's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you're new, give this thumbs a <laughs> give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.